Check this door. Alright, so this is the bathroom. Is there gonna be anything in the bathroom? Maybe in one of the urinals? Anything in the stalls? Nothing there. Nothing there. What about this? <laughs> Well, what is going on guys? PTS42 here, and welcome to Hanwell. Or should I say, welcome to... Welcome to Hanwell. I don't know. Now this game looks extremely promising. I found it over on itch.io, and from looking at the screenshots alone, it looks absolutely terrifying. The cool thing about this game that really caught my eye, other than just the amazing looking screenshots, was like the concept behind it is that it is like an open world horror game. And besides that, the only other thing I know about this game is that we need to make our way to a high school. Other than that, I am completely in the dark. But with all of that said, let's go ahead and hop into a new game. All right, and here we go. Puts us out in the middle of the street here. So I guess what we really need to do, obviously, is slowly make our way towards the high school. Like I said, I know that we need to do that. But it's an open world. Apparently, we can do a lot of exploring. There it is. There's our objective find the school now i'm very curious as to if i can like interact with these doors and maybe bust them open it doesn't look like i can but speaking of uh speaking of bust open uh you doing okay man you're not uh you're not looking so good all right well let's go ahead and check this guy out can we grab the axe we can grab the axe all right so now we have some sort of protection this is a flashlight yes it is okay flashlight press f to equip the flashlight be careful overusing the flashlight will cause it to mount function okay so that's definitely good to know it's starting to rain yeah i'm not uh not liking that at all actually uh let's make our way over here whoa wait i can interact with it <laughs> can we actually push that and change it we can! That is so cool! Just a little, like, side note. It's making a lot of noise. I hope that doesn't draw any attention towards me, but that's a cool little detail to have in there. Let's go ahead and start making our way towards the school. Now, I have no idea where it actually is, but I'm sure if we just follow a path, we should be able to find it. Alright. Something strange is definitely going on here. There are horrors untold that we're slowly but surely gonna start finding out like this that is that is terrible now there's something over there in the distance It's very bright you can kind of see it i'm not really too sure what that is but maybe we can make our way over there at some point this is the high school right here all right we got to make our way inside here we know this already let's go ahead and start trudging our way into here find a way into the school all right let's swing this this right side and see if we can find a way this way. I'm going to keep my flashlight off for the time being, like I said. Oh. Oh. What is going on? Why? 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 Oh. Should we try to run or should we try to take it on? You know what? I'm not, I'm not a chicken. Come here, baby. Ah! Take this. Ugh. Ugh. Did we kill it? Did we get it? That was really freaky i have no idea what it was it came out of nowhere and was crawling towards me and then you know i had my handy dandy axe right here and we just had to take it out entirely that's fine now you can see the little blue thing in the distance just there i think that's where we need to go i'm gonna try to make my way over there and see if that's something we can interact with okay something there oh i don't know what that is oh ah! You have been tainted. While tainted by the darkness, you will go temporarily bl blind. Press space to use your HCPP visual radar device. Beware audio waves emitted by the device may attract nearby anomalies. What the heck? This is a sick mechanic. This is awesome, but we need to use it sparingly. We need to make our way somewhere. So we're tainted right now. This is definitely not a good thing. All right, looks like we're starting to be cleared up a little bit. What the heck was that? All right, well, there's this orb right here. Or maybe it's like a battery or a generator or something. Let's see, what is this? Like an electromagnetic something. I don't know. I activated it, I guess. I'm not really too sure what that's going to do. But, you know, I interacted with it. So hopefully that'll... Some good will come from that. Now, there might be a way into the school from here. I'm going to go check it out and see if any of these doors are unlocked let's see this building is protected you cannot enter with a weapon press v to drop the weapon so we can't go into the school with our axe that is very unfortunate but in any case let's go ahead and head on inside looks like we made it into the school finally 
Yeah, of course, of course. Now, what do we need to do? Find the piece of Isabel Miller's citizenship card. All right, so we need to find a piece to Isabel's card. I don't know where to necessarily look for that. This is very open. Looks like we're in some sort of gymnasium or even a theater at that. All right, well, let's just keep exploring. Let's explore down this way. We can open this door. Is there going to be anything in here that we might be able to use? We picked up an eraser. Okay, so there might be some sort of puzzle that we need to solve. Let's go up to center stage here and see if there's anything. Maybe backstage, possibly. There could be something we can interact with back here. Yeah, there's another one of these batteries. Okay, let's interact with that and get that all activated just like that. Okay, we're going to backtrack a little bit and see if there's any way we can go this way. Let's see. This is the way we came, so we don't want to enter those doors because it might take us back outside. And we have a task at hand that we need to do. Now, what's going to be in here? A hallway? Yep, that's a hallway. What about this door? This is open. It's unlocked. All right. What's in here? Anything we can take? I'm going to keep my flashlight off because I don't want to use it too much. Let's go ahead and walk over to this blinking red light and interact with this. I don't know what those are. It's not telling me what they are. Jeez Louise. This is this place is absolutely massive. All right, let's make our way down this hallway. Check this door. All right, so this is the bathroom. Is there going to be anything in the bathroom? Maybe in one of the urinals? Anything in the stalls? Nothing there. Nothing there. What about this? Ah! No. That, that, that scared the out of me. Yeah. Is there anything in here after that? What the heck was that thing, dude? And there's another one of these blinking things. Might as well grab that. All right, we got another room in here. Looks like a classroom of sorts. Okay. Now, there looks to be something right here we can interact with. What is this? I like saw the doctor this It's a morning. phone. Okay, let's take a listen. The man's lost it. Okay, I the knew doctor. Was up to something. I'm evacuating the kids tomorrow morning. I guarantee you this time tomorrow the mayor will be signing a citywide evacuation order. Okay. So that explains why we haven't seen any other humans, at least any other humans that are alive. We got another classroom. Now this one looks like it's a science classroom, that's for sure. You got all the sinks and all of the little beakers everywhere. And we have a third one of these little battery sources. Once again, no idea what they are or what they do. Maybe it's some sort of cure for all the different things that's going on. I have no idea. I do see this little green thing here. Let's take a look at this. Tell Craig I found him. Okay, so it's a little note. So if we see Craig, don't you worry, Craig. We're gonna let you know that we found him. Whoever he is, you know, we'll let you know. This door is locked right here. That's the first locked door that we have encountered thus far. And I think we've already been in this room, yeah. So we need to find a key for this science lab from the looks of things. So we gotta keep an eye out for that. This place is absolutely massive. I'm only on the right side of the school. There's a whole left side and an upper level that we need to investigate. We are not even close to solving this thing. Did we come from this? All right, so this is another locked door, so we need to find even more keys. Maybe if we can find, like, the janitor's keys, if the school had a janitor, which most schools do, then he should have a key to just about every single door in the school so if we can find like a janitorial office or something like that that'll come in handy now i guess we need to make our way to the left side of the school and investigate over here hearing strange noises coming from this room very strange noises can't say i'm too fond of them uh, it's like a really like harsh buzzing. We got another one of these little battery things here or whatever it is. This door's locked as well. Okay. We need to find Isabel's card. Oh! What? You guys saw that, right? There's blood everywhere in this room. Oh, you can hear me stepping on the blood. What was that thing we just saw? I don't know. I don't like it. I don't want to spend much time in here. That door's locked. That's all I needed to know. We're getting the heck out of here, all right? All right, let's go ahead and open this door. Now, this leads us down another corridor. Now, have we been here before? Oh, you can see that figure in the distance right there. I guess we got to make our way towards it. Oh, something's happening. Screw it. I'm going for it. Hey, man, my flashlight's gone. My flashlight just cut off. 
That was not me that time. I know I was turning it on and off to like save the usage. But that was not me. It completely just broke. Okay, let's go ahead and just double check on the right side and see if we can make our way to the second floor from this side. I'm not too sure if we can, but it's always good to check. And it doesn't look like there's anything blocking the way on this side, so we're making our way upstairs, that's for sure. Alright, let's check this way out over here. We got more lockers. We got another one of these little blue things on it. Ah! Please stop! Just go away! Activate that. Maybe it'll make it go away. Maybe I need to confront it. Get out of here, sir! That's right, yeah. You leave me alone. Uh, let's make our way into here. Now, what is in here? There's a phone, and I do see you right here. Give me that, thank you. I see a key. Okay, so there were a few locked doors on the right side, I believe. I think we'll have to backtrack and go that way. And we also have a phone right here. Let's take a listen here. Hello, Brett. I've just got word about your evacuation of the children yesterday. Okay. I know we haven't always seen eye to eye, but mm -hmm. I must commend you on your incredible foresight. Okay, yeah, thank you. Something well, I guess it's not me, but still. Something is coming. Possibly tonight. Okay, and how do you There's know no this? There's no advantage to you staying in the city to see this through. The children are safe. Get out while you can. Okay. Alright, so whoever this was, she knew something about what's going on, and it definitely took a turn for the worst. We do have a note just here. Let's check this out. I'm going to try and get out tonight. I left the caretaker's key in your room on the science wing. I'm certain someone will try and find it during the evacuation. Once you have it, keep it with you, Brett. Okay, well, thank you very much, Brett, and I think we do have that key, and it, it is the janitor's key from what it sounds like, so... Let's go ahead and make our way to the lower floor and on the right side of the school and see if we can find these locked doors. I believe- I think this is the door here? Yes, it was. Unlock that. Alright. We're in the science wing now. Anything in here we can interact with. There's another one of these little red bulbs. We can't actually grab it. There we go. We got it. We can reach from a distance. We grabbed it. And there's blood! A lot of blood! Over here! What was that? What was that bang? Coming from this chest? Do I have to open this? There's another key. Is this the key to the chest? No. What's that key for, though? I don't see any notes or anything I can uh, read to give me more information. So maybe there's another door we need to unlock. Oh, right, we do have a door just here. Alright, and that key works on this door. And it leads us down into a very dark and creepy place. And of course, there's creepy kids laughing. And of course, we're gonna run straight into it. All right, now it's open. There we go. Thank you. Good God, dude. This is this is too much. We got one of these blue things over here. Let's go ahead and activate that. We activated it, right? Yeah, that's all activated. Well and good. Now we need to make our way down this way, I think. I don't know if we can actually open these doors or not. Let's try. We can. Oh my god, there's even more exploration down here? You can't be serious. These are like cells. These are like jail cells. What in the world is going on in this school? Alright, and we made it to the last gate. Now, we do have a couple of things we can interact with. Let's go ahead and interact with the phone here. Okay. So it's just us. Okay. Well, what time is it? Well, what time is it? I don't have a clock. In any case, we have a note right here. Let's check this one out. It broke again. There are a few connectors in the broom cupboard by the hall upstairs. I'd get this fixed ASAP if you don't want anyone getting in here. Okay, so we need to go to a broom cupboard. Is that what it said? Broom cupboard by the hall upstairs. So is that like top floor? Oh my god, you can see someone in there. And it's locked. We can't get in there yet. We need to make our way upstairs. We need to find the broom cupboard. Let's go ahead and try to find this thing. Alright, so this is the way to go back upstairs, but actually I saw this. And it looks really dark and creepy, and it looks like there's another way we can actually go before we go upstairs. And I'm very curious as to where this leads. The music is changing a lot. I don't like this. It's like an office down here. What is going on in here? What went on down here? There's a chair in the middle of this place. What? This is 
all happening below a school. So what were they doing to all of the kids? Yet again, just another room with one of these chairs and a window, just looking in. That is so strange, and where does this spit me out at? This is behind all of the cells! Okay, this is starting to make some sense. And the, the cells lead right up to this room. With the rotating chair. This is beyond strange. But let's make our way down this hallway here and see where this will end up spitting us out at. I'm really curious. Is it going to put us behind the other room that we saw that was gated off? It's, if this is unlocked. It is locked, so we can't actually get in here yet. We need to go... We do need to go upstairs and find the broom cupboard after all. We picked up that one thing. Okay. So we already did have that picked up. Okay, so that was that was really weird what just happened. Uh, when we first actually entered the school, I that was the first room I interacted with and I just walked into. I picked up this really weird thing in the beginning and I didn't know what it was. And I guess that's the piece that we needed to continue on downstairs. Okay, so we made our way back down into the basement or the cellars or just the cells, however you, whatever you want to call it. If we place what we found just there, that should activate this panel. And now we need a code. Of course we need a code and I have no idea what the code is to actually unlock this door. All right, guys, I'm gonna head back into the really creepy room with all those different chairs. I'm gonna see if there's anything that I might have missed in one of these rooms. I didn't really investigate them too thoroughly, so I'm just gonna double check real quick. All right, so we made it back into the room with the rotating chair. And I did see this dinosaur here, and then there's this little piece of paper. Okay, I guess I didn't hover over it enough. This is what we were missing right here. Brett, someone's on to us, okay? Rotate this around, what does that say? Five, four, three, seven, and that is exactly what we needed. Five, four, three, seven, that is the code to get into that room. Let's go ahead and try it out. So we made it back to the door with the code. Let's go ahead and try to input this thing. And now the code was five, four, three, seven. And that's it, and it lets us in, giving us access into this room. Now, what does this say? You can't touch me now. What is that even supposed to mean? We got some stuff here. What is this? Grab something. There's a hammer as well. So now at least we have something to defend ourselves with. Let's grab this little orb and I guess we'll continue on. Now this opens from here. Leave the school. So our objective is to get the heck out of here. It seems a lot darker than usual. Well, maybe not. I'm not too sure. But it's definitely a lot darker quieter like you cannot hear anything other than my footsteps right now like if i were to yell this is what it would sound like ah! exactly i do not like this right now I ah! exactly exactly i i don't like it at all and all of the doors shut all of the ones that i'm sure i opened oh, those shut get away from me i'm swinging i'm swinging bro Get swinging! Come on, come on, come on! Yeah, take that! How you like this junk, huh? How you like this junk? All right, let's let's run, let's run, let's run. You still behind me? Yeah. He's teleporting all over the freaking place, dude. I can't fight him. I can. I fight him. Yeah. Get out of here. Get out of my face, bro. Oh my God, there's so many. I came too far to die here. Get me out. We escaped. We escaped. We got out. All right then guys, so this was the Welcome to Hanwell School demo and oh my goodness, this game is absolutely amazing. I honestly cannot wait for future installments to this game. I can't wait for the whole thing to be released because to the developers, what an amazing job, not only in sound design, visuals, and just overall like story because it's there and it's just a demo. You guys have done such a good job on just the demo and I cannot wait to play the full game in the future. But if you guys want to play the game for yourself, there will be a link down in the description, so be sure to go download it and check it out. But that said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like down below. And hey, if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? You can get more awesome content 
just like this. And do not forget to ring that bell to be notified when I upload a video. But that said, you guys, that's going to be it for me today. Once again, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, everybody, I will see you in the next video. So until then, keep on being stellar.